All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Now, if you don't know who Karen Civil is, Karen Civil's been on The Breakfast Club a couple of times. She's from New Jersey. She's a digital marketing entrepreneur, author. She handles all that. She started off as an intern at Hot 97. She worked for Dipset, Lil Wayne, Beats by Dre, Hillary Clinton, and more. Um, she was actually the one that ran that campaign when uh, Lil Wayne was locked up where you could actually write Lil Wayne and he was uh, writing you guys back. Yeah, she was the one that did that campaign. Hey, Karen Civil gets busy. Mm-hmm. So over the weekend, this is how it all started. Uh, comedian Jesse Wu, she's been on Wild and Out. She's been on Love and Hip Hop. I guess her and Karen Civil had a lawsuit, a $3 million lawsuit where Karen Civil lost and Jesse Wu won. And she talked about uh, the things that Karen Civil uh, allegedly did to her. Well, that opened up the floodgates because Joyner Lucas talked about Karen Civil scamming him. Let's play it. This is around the time Nipsey did his $100 mixtape You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn. Karen's the way to go. At the time, I was f***ed up. I had an investor. He done already kicked up so much money. And the only thing that I had left was a little bit of bread that we had left in which we chose to hire you. That was 2015. You keep saying it was seven years ago, but that was a big time in my life. My son was about to be just born. My back was against the wall. And at this time, hiring you was like our last ditch effort to really do something. And I really believed in the name Karen Civil. Now, this was on Clubhouse. So they were both speaking on Clubhouse. Joyner Lucas posted many a post about how Karen Civil uh, took 60000 from him. And, you know, his, at the time his child was just born, he didn't have the money. This was a last-ditch a last ditch effort. I don't know. I've never been on Treehouse, and I, I'm proud Clubhouse. of that. Clubhouse. Well, I've never been over there. Because you know, every time I ask who all over there, it's a bunch of people I don't think I want to be in the same room with. Well, you were mentioned on Clubhouse. Uh, let's Let's play that part. I saw you write your thing. I said, damn, this nigga still upset by this. So I hit Charlemagne. I said, I want to get this man on the I want to get this man on the phone. Because the last time we had some shit, the shit was on Twitter. We never communicated. Charlemagne told me what you felt. I said, forget it then. He still has an attitude and he's upset and he wants to do social. And you did social. That's what it was. So how exactly was I supposed to reach out? I literally kept everything. I was so proactive with doing your business there's some that are hits and misses it takes longer than other times yeah that's true i mean karen the homie you know karen, I, I never did business with her so i can't speak how she does business but knowing her for years and i like peace i want everyone to get to a place of healing so if she asked me to reach out to someone i got no problem doing that and join my man too so you mm -hmm. know that's why you know i, I hit join her like yo karen wants to holler at you well this will join join us said if she ain't calling me to Pay me my money back. I don't know what you want to talk about, but feel free, mm. you know, to have her call. So that's 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 all that was. Okay. Well, let's open up the floodgates over the weekend. And Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked, he talked about his uh, runners with Karen Civil. A couple years ago, Hollywood Unlocked's Instagram, when we reached 1.2 million followers, got taken down. And I got and I didn't know what was happening. I was in Atlanta on stage at Wild and Out, and I got reached. Somebody reached out to me from Miami and said, "My brother is a 17-year-old hacker." from Orlando, he was paid $20,000, promised $40,000 by Karen Civil to hack your page because we had written a story how she had stole $17,000 from James from Love & Hip Hop in New York. He had put her on blast. We wrote the story, we refused to take it down, and she basically paid a kid to hack us. She promised him a rap career. She didn't pay the back end, so he, he outed her. <laughs> what? You would do that, Envy. So? You would do that. So? <laughs> so? You so. would do that. So? You would do that. You would I, definitely... If I, felt, you if, would. I felt, if I felt like somebody was writing a false story on me, you're goddamn right. <laughs> but I wouldn't hide no hacker. I'll just call the people and say, hey, take that <laughs> If I don't know, hey, <laughs> you want to write a story about me? Oh, do you? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Well, oh, Lord have mercy. Karen Civil got on uh, Clubhouse and she talked about that incident. Yeah, I hit this. And nobody promised him $20,000. Nobody promised him a rap career or nothing like that. He decided to double back and tell you some stuff. Jason called me about it. I admitted it to Jason and I apologized. It got back to Jason. Jason called me upset, flipping like, why the f would you do this? This is how I eat. I can own my bull for that. I mean, I respect the honesty, but. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't admitted that. Yeah, what's the point? Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> admitted it. I respect the honesty. Though. Yeah, but she did admit that, and um, 
Yeah, so I, allegedly, well, we ain't going to say allegedly. They're saying Karen Civil paid a, a blogger to take his site down, which I think a it hacker. happened. And he did get it back up. And then Jason Lee said this about Karen Civil. Now, I'm not mad at her hustle, but what I'm mad at is that the industry, the Breakfast Club, all these people have given her a platform, used their platform, let her finesse them in order to give her culture clout so she can go and rob the culture blind. Now, Jason, why are you name dropping us specifically? <laughs> okay. Well, he named a couple of others. Name oh, a bunch of others. They oh, just okay, cut, okay, the, okay, cut okay. those out. All right. Okay. I mean, because when a person has a personal problem with a person, you know, they don't want anyone messing with that person. I understand. I mean, we've had Jason Lee up here, and people have said, why are you giving him a platform? That's true. So that doesn't mean anything. Jason that's, Jason will probably be here this week. Mm -hmm. I think he's in New York. Mm -hmm. But we had a couple people up here that necessarily people don't necessarily like. Um, but There's nobody nobody likes all across the board. Not one person. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Yeah, now it goes a little more. Now Meek Mill. Oh, my God. He posted How deep on, does this mess go? Yo, it's crazy. Meek Mill posted, Karen was my friend and turned on me for opportunity. Started having the blogs post a negative-ish about me on some conspiracy-ish. LOL, I forgive her, but I definitely don't want to deal with y'all industry people that move like that. I feel like I've heard all these stories before except for the Jason Lee one, though. I yeah. feel like Joyner's has expressed that before. I feel like Meek has expressed that before. Cameron. Definitely Cam. Cameron. Well, she responded to Meek Mill. She just says, you know damn well I ain't have no site play you. I literally just supported your album and shown you nothing but cordialness and respect the last few years when My we see each hurts, other. Bro. Saturday up? on these clubhouse chat rooms, defending you and didn't take part of these Twitter key moments. Like, come on with the BS narrative. So that's it in a nutshell. I explained what I could because I really didn't know. I was really enjoying myself this weekend, and I just started seeing all the spicy stuff. All I feel, I feel very low vibrational energy. This is what I call low vibrational nigga. Okay, <laughs> and I don't like that in my life. And lastly, right. this is the last thing I'm going to do. Jason Lee, he said, uh, he posted this. He said, Karen Civil needs to be in jail. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And yes, with the, confession, with the confession, we will be seeking all legal and uh, prosecute available under every law. I mean, hey, I don't have an opinion. I don't have an opinion on any of this. Everybody got the story. Everybody got a story. You know, Joyner got his story. Karen got her story. Jesse Wu got her story. Jason Lee got their story. I mean, I, I guess it's good conversations are happening. I don't know. That, and it goes further. It goes into I, the Nipsey camp. It goes so deep so far. But I am sending everybody healing energy. Yeah, Wait, me too. my Polly Santo. Yeah, give me a Polly Santo. Polly Santo, Santo at Nick. Where is it? Give me a Polly Santo. What else, what else you got over there, man? I'm, I don't know, but I'm about to light something. Light, oh, yeah, light smudge. something. I say I ain't got no sage in here to smudge the building. Light something, sage, Jesus Christ, weed, all, something. All this low vibration. There it go. Give me a damn lighter. All this low vibrational nigga nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> man. So let me ask you, Chris. So what, what I don't white, ask me nothing about what, this. What, what, what a white person listens, do they think like we have to de-blackify certain institutions? <laughs> do they think that? <laughs> they got to de <laughs> when, they hear certain, when they hear certain stories, I'm like, see, we got to think about certain ah! certain institutions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah! All right. Well, we giving your doggy oh, to, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Carabelle. Okay, Carabelle is a, a mom who has some concerns in Texas. Okay, we'll talk about it. <laughs> All right. We'll get to it next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.